In today's video, I'm going to show you how to avoid double audio in OBS. Let me show what I mean because it's annoying. So have you been live streaming and at some point, let me see, maybe you play your uh, intro video and you play. All right. So as you can see, you have a desktop audio running and you have some music because you're trying to have some background music playing but it's kind of playing twice and what's going to create is going to create something that will sound like this so either the music is going to be super super punchy with the actual you know the kick and the bass and everything or sometimes there's a slight delay between the music the first music on the actual music they have added and the actual desktop audio music kind of playing so because it's kind of playing twice it creates this like kind of off beat beat that's you know it just sounds weird and people on stream they are not going to enjoy the experience even yourself sometimes you don't even notice because the desktop audio doesn't go through your headphones you can't really monitor it and the other audio is actually going straight to the stream so you don't know what's going on until after the fact that you watch your stream and it actually sounds weird and it's embarrassing it's not professional so in today's video again before i actually show you how to avoid it Another thing is sometimes you try to mute it. So let's let's say I decided this is this is my welcome screen with the music. This is something that I would play before I start my, my live stream. But let's say I decided to mute my desktop audio and then I just play the music. So this is one way of doing it. However, what's going to do? So let's say I want to watch a YouTube video. Let me go here to my friend, I mean, he's not my friend, he doesn't know me, but I feel like he's my friend because I watch his videos. Anyways, AJ, the CEO, right? So if I was maybe uh, had a scene where I'm sharing my screen and I want this audio that's playing, again, to design the whole scene and everything, but I want this audio that's playing to show up in my OBS. So as you can see now, it's actually showing up because it's, it's playing through my desktop audio and i need to enable this for me in order for me to hear that audio coming in so if i switch to a scene like this where i have my desktop audio coming in and i want people to hear it on the stream then it becomes an issue because now i have to manually go back and then enable my desktop audio so my welcome scene i have my desktop audio muted and then when i switch to this scene where i need my desktop audio to be heard then i have to click to desktop audio again to enable it manually so it's kind of not professional uh and it's just like sometimes take to go you know mute and unmute it just becomes chaos especially when you live you want a clean setup where you switch scenes your job is just to switch scenes scene one scene two scene three you don't have to think about the audio mute and unmute you know you can just click switch and then go to unmute and then go back to another scene and then go you know mute again so it just becomes chaos so in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually solve it. And it's actually super, super easy. So what you would do usually on your welcome scene, which is the very first scene that you, you, people are going to see, you want to only have the music that you have added, right? So basically how to add the music, you just hit the plus sign and you go to media source and you browse, you look for your music and you bring it in, make sure it's looping, which is what I have right here. Now, the desktop audio, you want to make sure you actually get rid of it. So you go to settings, okay, because it's a mess. And go to audio, and you go here where it says global audio devices, and you go to desktop audio. By default, OBS is going to have it here. So you need to go here and click disable, hit apply, and hit OK. So now, this way, if I hit, I play my welcome scene. There's only one audio playing, which is my music. There's no desktop audio. Now, so you'll be like, okay, Sam, so what if I want my desktop audio to be heard in my next scene where I'm actually maybe sharing my screen or I'm viewing or watching a video on YouTube and I want people to hear what's happening or I'm watching, I'm uh, sharing a video, a local video on my desktop and I want people actually hear that video. 
So how you do that, instead of adding a desktop audio, because you can just add a desktop audio as a source. Let me show you what I mean. So if I go to plus sign and then I go to all the sources I have here, there's no source that says desktop audio. So as you can see, it does not exist. The only thing that we have is audio input capture and an audio output capture. And this is where the secret is. So the secret is you go to audio output capture and that's why you add and then you actually just so you can call it main output. OK, and then hit OK. And now you're going to go under device and you're going to choose your main speaker. So my main speaker now where if I go here, usually it's going to be here. If you go uh, on your uh, systems tray, you can go speaker. And as you can see, my main speaker for my setup, my computer is the speaker from Roadcaster Duo, which is my interface. For you, it could be something else. Whatever device you have here is what you're gonna make sure you actually choose. So I can go here to speakers, Roadcaster Duo, uh, this one, main, okay? And then choose that and hit okay. Now, this way, I'm gonna be getting whatever is I am hearing is going through my main speaker but I'm not going to get the music back kind of looping and creating this weird effect. So what I mean is I can go to my welcome scene here and then I still don't have the desktop audio. I can just play the music, right, that I brought in. I go to my camera. Now I have main output, which means if I play back something like this video, if I play this video on YouTube, it's going to show up here so people can hear it. It's called the main output. I can even call it whatever I want. But you can see that people can still hear this audio because it's playing. Anything that I play that has audio on my computer is going to be heard on this particular scene. Now, I can go ahead and create another scene. Now, this is a blank scene. OK. And as you can see, there's no desktop audio bothering me if I change to a scene that doesn't have desktop audio, which means if I wanted to, I can go to camera and then I can copy this main output. Just right click and then copy. And then I can go to ATEM, which is another, you know, scene. Just ignore the name. OK, but I can go to a different scene. And go under sources and I can right click and then paste. So if I switch from camera to, I mean, this scene that's called camera, I have this main output, whatever it's playing, I'm just gonna mute this thing, right? So I have, if I was playing a YouTube video, I'm, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go play my YouTube video here, right? So it's gonna come through. If I go here, ATM, which is another scene, you can see that my audio is still coming through. Now, if I can create another scene if I want and make that scene, you know, have it without the main output. But as you can see now, I have control over my audio. OK, so I can go back to my intro here and then it will play no problem, which is awesome. I can stop my YouTube video. I don't need it anymore. OK, another thing is, let me show you if I had the uh, go to settings and then go to audio. If I had my desktop audio, the enabled you see it's gonna be a mess it's gonna be chaos which is something that you don't want so i can go to uh, my camera scene here go to welcome scene if i play see we got two audios playing and then i switch to this you see like i have like three audios playing and then i go to a tab it's, it's just a mess okay so you don't want this to happen okay you want to make sure it's clean which is the key is let me just go stop this music the key is really to go to settings and make sure under audio everything here is disabled so you have control over your scenes you can add uh your audio sources as you wish so you make sure you have your microphone you make sure you have your desktop audio wherever you want it which in your case you wouldn't use the desktop audio option you would use actually um output capture audio output capture option, which is gonna allow you to copy that audio to any source that you want and then not copy it to sources that you don't want, right? So that's how you do it. But guys, if you want to know how to set up a full OBS show starting from scratch, all the things that you need from a welcome scene to your main camera scene to be right back scene to scenes where you have guests on your stream, like 
from start to finish guys after watching that video you're probably never gonna have to watch any other obs video unless you want to watch my videos of course because they are cool but yeah that's right if you want to check out that video it's gonna be linked right here so make sure to check it out and i'll see you there guys take care